it's a good idea in general if you have your own textures to bring them in put them in a folder an iPhoto or an aperture or Lightroom whatever and import that folder onto the iPhone that way your textures are always there and they're yours you know we're gonna take this HDR image of the upturned boat and add some textures to it so let's go in here right now and we're gonna go into iris which is phenomenal it has, it has great textures. I'm going to add one of theirs and maybe two of my own or something like that. I like doing more than one texture. I tend to overlap and overlay them. It gives you a much different look. So I'm going to find the image. Do it this way. Here we go. And we're going to bring it in. Cape May and... If you ever go on the Cape May, go. It's a phenomenal place. Here's our final HDR shot, our composite. Now, what I will do first is I will go in here. I'm sorry, this one here with the overlapping pages. And go to one touch and I'll drop in a grunge. I like rock a lot. Let's have a look at that. And a little much, but if we do this, get it just a section of it just a little bit so we can apply that then you can go right back again which is very cool and add a second texture right here one touch and we'll go on the surface and I like splatter but again it's very very uh, heavy we'll pull this back a little bit Going to save this out. I'm going to apply it and save it. And then we will take this into Filter Storm and brighten it up. Save into library. Uh, we're okay here. And then we'll go into adjust ourselves just there. Good. Filter Storm. A second to load up okay right here there we go uh, from library camera roll and I want to bring this one in okay now what I will do here I like the texture but I want to bring the foreground out a bit more so again, we'll, we'll go into filters and we'll go to brightness and we will bring that up. All that I care about is the foreground. Perfect. A little more. Good. Apply with mask. So we're going to keep our sky. Let's check our brush. Put these two little chevrons here. We want the opacity 100%. I want it to be as much as possible. Small diameter brush. It'll be around here. Always softness pushed all the way up. And then we're back down to the image and we'll just paint this foreground in. Like that. Brightens it right up. No problem. And again, you want to be a little bit careful, obviously, but uh, this can be, uh, this can take a little while to be totally accurate. But this is the idea. I'm going a little beyond the edge, so we're going to go in here and, and, and just erase. Go to the uh, enlarge tool, bring it up a little bit, and then back to erase. Let's see our brush size because it does vary. Good, we'll pull that back dramatically. Put that here and opacity, bring that back just a notch. Okay, and click that icon there, and then just paint that area back in. See it? Put it back in. There we go. Now, click on the. Uh... Okay, we're good here. Now I'm going to save this out, and there's a great texture which I used in the beginning, um, that is uh, in PhotoForge. Phenomenal. So we'll check the OK button. It's OK, and then we save it. I hit the swipe. There we go. 
export large, save the photos. I'm gonna go into uh, Photo Forge now and, and um, add one more texture and a little sharpening, and then we're gonna move on to our final step in this image. Photo Forge. Let's try it again. Okay. And click on our folder here. There we go. Now, I'm going to open this image. It's right here. And we're going to add one of my favorite textures on Earth because I love this thing. Uh, I think it's the uh, watercolor. So we're going to keep our textures we have so far. It's a very cool image. We'll fix that later. I'm going to go into here. And it's always a good idea to sharpen either before or after adding one of these textures. We're going to do it after adding the texture. So we'll go in here and pick watercolor, which gives it a very hard, like crazy kind of a hard edge. And we'll pull the effect back a little bit. Tremendous. I love that texture. I love putting texture in negative space in general. It's like negative space in the sky here. And uh, we're going to keep that. Now, that opacity. And then we'll go in here again and we'll add a little sharpening. We can use just sharpen directly, not on sharp mask all the time. Just a little bit. Okay, not bad. Now we're going to save this out. And again, the image is very cold, got a very cold feel to it. So, what I'll do is I will go in to uh, um, Filter Storm, which has the, uh, the temperature slash white balance tool. And we will correct all of that right there. I think the entire image could use that. So, in the Filter Storm to finish up here and go into temperature, which is white balance. And I'll leave that little deal where it is and just push it all the way up, all the way up. Okay, a little over warm. Let me pull that back a notch. And I might wanna paint. Let me just paint it in. Keep the sky blue. And then we're gonna go up here and adjust the brush. A little lower opacity. Bit bigger brush. Okay. And then we'll go back in here and we'll just start painting this in. Just a little bit. Not a lot. See, it's got a little, little amber tonality up top there. A little warm feel. That way we keep the juxtaposition of opposites, which I think is very important. The cool and the warm. Whenever you can juxtapose things that are opposite. It's uh, a very strong visually. And I think we're pretty much, uh, pretty much good to go here. We're gonna save the changes first and then hit the swipe, export large, save the photos. And I think that will uh, complete this. Let's have a look, make sure. Then we'll pull it up on the big board and get a final look at it and make sure we're good to go. A last minute processing here, there we go. And we're going to go up to our photos and go to the camera roll, get the very last version of that. Okay, we kept our cool sky overcast. We have our texture, which has been a little bit sharpened, give it more, more sense of depth. And we have our foreground boat. There it is. Our foreground boat where we warmed up the grasses and made it a bit brighter. So that's our finished uh, product.